Member Fuller Trobe. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. When the Labor government announced the completion of the Monash Freeway many years ago in Victoria, claiming it to be built under budget and delivered early, they conveniently forgot to mention they cut off one lane in order to save time and money. So now we have a road unaffectionately known as the Monash Car Park, and there's a number of suburbs in my electorate greatly affected including the residents of Narriwarren, Narriwarren North, Narriwarren South, Berwick, Beaconsfield, Officer, up in Emerald, Cockatoo, Jembrook, the Danong Ranges, Furniture Gully, Upper Gully, the Basin and Baronia. From personal experience and feedback I have received, including on social media, the Monash is absolutely atrocious. And what is the Labor's plan at the state government level? Nothing. All well, all whilst this is happening, Daniel Andrews has cancelled pickups on the V-Line services in Pakenham. This goes on top of Daniel Andrews and Bill Shorten's opposition to the East West Link, costing Victorians $900 million. I am firmly committed to seeing the widening of the Monash Freeway, not from one lane but two lanes. That's what we need, especially around the Berwick Beaconsfield area. We need to see the state government and the federal governments work together to make this happen, and that is a challenge I'll take up. My big concern is that with the Western distributor Bill Shorten and Daniel Andrews are only concerned with the western side of Melbourne and are continuing to ignore the outer eastern suburbs. We haven't given up on the east-west link. We've committed $3 billion to this. This is Order. still on the table. Order.